So this scope of the workshop, um, understand that this workshop, I got only one hour. I won't be able to show you how exactly it works. Most of my workshops are hands-on in which I ask people to open their laptops and actually make a campaign uh, during the workshop. But right now, what I'll be telling you is how you should look from the top when you see Facebook ads. Most of the clients which I meet, they, they run Facebook ads like uh, they boost their posts and they think that they will get customers. It, it also results into customers, but then you should be very confident and clear on the top view, what happens. And this workshop will be like that. I will try to show you the screenshots of how the Facebook ads run. And if I get time, I will also run you through my actual campaign. You will see how the whole thing flows, how the information flows, how the money flows, and how right now I'm doing the workshop and I saw I already have two uh, money transfers in my bank account. So this is the power of digital marketing when you can be really doing something else when you're earning money. This is, a, I think, the most important uh, slide because this will give you the bird eye view of everything. Whenever you are seeing any ad campaign, let it be Google ads, let it be Facebook ads, or for example, even your banner ads if you invest your money outside on the road banners or on the hoardings. This is what it is. Any ad campaign, first of all, it is meant to bring traffic on your website. That's the sole purpose of any ad campaign. We will see the main parts of this uh, regarding to Facebook ads. So we will see how many kinds of Facebook ads, what, what Facebook offers you to make advertisements. We will see what kind of audience you can target and this will be very interesting and you will, be, you will see how we marketers use your information. You already, always see on internet that Facebook is not private and they intrude your privacy. You will actually see what I can do with your private information. Ad copy types, how many kinds of ads we can make on Facebook and conversion analysis. The most beautiful thing about digital marketing is that each and every step you can count and you can analyze. So you exactly know if I am investing 1000 euros in this campaign and 200 euros in this campaign and 300 euros in this campaign, then from where exactly I'm getting my customers. Run it for one or two months and then on, from the third month uh, onwards, you can really choose which is working for you, which is not working for you which is really not possible when it comes to TV ads or when it comes to holdings outside because you don't know from where your customers are coming. But to run this, to analyze this, you really need to know how this conversion analysis works. We will look into it. The second one is lead form. So the traffic comes to your website. Now, what does the traffic do? The traffic will, a traffic is nothing but an audience. They will read your landing page and there has to be something in which they can share your information. The minimum of information is an email ID and a little more is a phone number. And beyond that, it can be so many things. They can ask you, you can ask uh, your profession, how many employees you have and blah, blah, blah. It depends on what kind of service you are offering and uh, how serious is your lead to give information. So now lead forms are of three types, mainly if you are a small business. I'm not talking about if you are a big Amazon or something, they have complex lead forms. But if you are a small business, you have three kinds of lead form. One is uh, when you run a Facebook ad, Facebook wants, Facebook realizes that, that not every website is a good website. It can happen that your ad is a fabulous ad, but your website is not good. What I mean is when you see a Facebook ad, you see also a button which says learn more or sign up or registration. You all have seen a Facebook ad. Anyone who has not seen a Facebook ad in his lifetime, you might have seen an event happening or a party or a DJ. Facebook tracks you what you do in your life and then it throws ads on you. And then when you click an ad, it, you, it will take you to their website and it might be possible that the website is not so fabulous. So what Facebook has done very recently is it says, okay, when somebody clicks the button of the ad, I will not throw the audience to your website, but will, I will keep the audience to Facebook. And Facebook itself has a form and automatically it gets filled up by your Facebook credentials. So you feel, wow, it's so easy. Your phone number is automatically added. And that's why if you might have noticed, Facebook keeps poking you, add your phone number, add your phone number. Do you realize? It always asks you. It asks you for me because it wants to help marketers like me so that your form fills, gets fills automatically and I get your number as my lead as well. So I can disturb you by calling. Yeah. The second one is landing page forms. I will show you exactly. This is not just theory workshop. You will actually see how it looks. Landing page and forms. The form which you actually make on your landing page. This will, this will require your design skills. You might have to hire a WordPress guy or a, or a normal website guy. But I will show you how it looks. The third kind of form is MailChimp. 
how many of you have heard of MailChimp? Yeah, so MailChimp is an automated lead capturing platform and it nurtures your lead by sending emails. Are the words complex? Nurturing the leads, capturing the lead. What happens is, I will again show you, uh, you fill your email ID and it gets captured in the MailChimp CRM and you can make automated emails to those leads. This is called nurturing. This is also called email drip campaigns. By drip, by drip, drip, by drip, drip, by drip, you keep nurturing your feed. And one day when the, when the client or when the probable customer needs your service, he will remember you. That's the whole motive. And these days, uh, the modern day marketing is quite changed as well. The modern day marketing is not selling. That I sell, I sell and buy from me. The modern day marketing is, I will give you core information until you need it. When you need it, you will remember my name. So right now you're sitting on a, in a free workshop. I normally charge for these workshops, but this is my marketing campaign. Traffic came, you uh, captured the email ID or phone number. Now what will you do after that? They have still not paid you. What will you do with the phone numbers and email IDs? This is where nurturing, this is called the whole exercise of lead conversion. Most of the time, this is the work of your sales team. This is where your sales starts. It depends on businesses, how long it takes. If you're in a retail business, it can take you months to nurture that lead and convert into a client. If you are probably uh, an e-commerce business, it might take you a few days. For me as a coach, it takes me out at around eight to nine days to convert my leads. I, I have to minimum communicate four times to them and I will show you how. These are the ways. And I will also show you the screenshots how I have communicated when my customers are paying me. So either it can be, first of all, when the lead comes, you have to have your own Excel sheet or an automated platform. If you are a small businessman, maintain your Excel sheet. I will show you how it is done. Maintain your Excel sheets, uh, send emails. So your first emailer should go. Thank you for subscribing. This is the more, this is more information. Here you can pay and all those things. Second would be an SMS conversion. Send them an SMS. This will be your second nurturing. Basically you are nurturing your lead. You are giving them information. But then it's a thin line between disturbing and nurturing. You know, whenever you are just saying buy from me, buy from me, it's disturbing. But we, is this in line with the GDPR? Yeah, yeah, yeah. GDPR. I'll show you. When you so this is where the GDPR comes. Each and every uh, segment has an option of GDPR. So it will show you which we automatically tick yes. If you read okay. it, yeah. it really says that I have all the rights to disturb you. This is how it is. To disturb you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I say disturb again, disturbing and value addition has a thin line. A smart marketer will add value to your life. You won't feel disturbed, but a pushy marketer will sell you to disturb you. You will feel that, oh, you are, why you are disturbing him? Because he's not adding value to you. At the end of the day, understand that marketing is not a holy cause. Let's be very clear. Marketing is something you have to take out money from somebody's pocket in a good manner so that you are adding value to somebody's life. I'm being blunt here. Being a marketer, I have all the rights to be blunt about marketing. And I know that at some point of time, even I feel that some marketers are very pushy. But then that's the changing, changing paradigm of the show. WhatsApp nurturing. Now, I will show you that I have even reached out to my leads in WhatsApp, which is considered as a very personal one. I have not received even one message which says, stop bugging me. Because on WhatsApp messages, I, I, I run the messages in such a way that they find value. They even find value to connect with me. They think that, wow, I have a valuable connection in my personal, you know, in my zone that I can just say hi. And second one would be LinkedIn nurturing in which you, you reach out to your leads on LinkedIn and then messaging them. Again, value. If you're not, you will, you will know by yourself, by your language, how you are writing it. When, when out of five people, two will say or three will say, stop disturbing me. You will yourself realize that your message is not adding value, but it is pushy. Cool. So the first one, uh, remember the co color coding, yellow, blue and green. So we are now running the yellow thing and I will run one by <coughs> one how everything looks like. So the yellow thing, we are running Facebook, uh, the types of ads. When you go on your Facebook and on the right hand side, you will see a drop down which says ad manager. Click on the ad manager. I'm throwing stuff from my mouth, I realize. When you say create a campaign, this is the first page which you will see. Now this is also a very important page to, to think like a marketer. Many people think that on Facebook, if they will just boost their uh, post, things will happen. But no. Marketing, today's marketing, and I take full ownership of this sentence. Today's marketing 
is all based on these three funnels. This is called funneling. Whether you talk about digital marketing or whether you talk about real marketing, these are the funnels. The first, and when I say funnel is, the old time marketing was, I see you first time I, I, and I say, okay, sir, this is my car and uh, let buy something from me. No, this is an old way and very, very, uh, you know, dirty way of selling. This is where you take, take people in the funnel. That means first take people in the awareness stage. What is awareness stage? That I tell you that what I do. That's it. I, I no, no, none of my words will say buy from me. I will just say, I do this right now, right? In my workshop, I will not even once say that buy my services. So right now what you guys all are in my this stage, awareness stage, because you are getting aware of me, how I am, what I do, and what is it all about. <coughs> consideration stage. Consideration stage is when all the kinds of, I what I will do after the workshop is I will keep a page here and I will say, if you have doubts, if you want this presentation, give me your email ID. That's your engagement stage or consideration stage. Consideration is also when people are comparing you with other services. They already know what you are. They already know how other people are. Now they are comparing you for prices and their other expectations. Conversion is when you run your conversion campaigns exactly to sell. This is the selling stage, which means most of your ad campaigns. What I mean by stages, basically your ad copies changes in different stages and awareness ad copy will not say 25% discount. So basically, if you are running a Facebook campaign by an ad copy with an awareness campaign by saying 25% discount, it won't work because it will not play with the psyche of the consumer. You have to run the consumer through these stages and at the last stage run a 25% discount or one plus one free discount and then your con conversions will happen. And Facebook was so smart. I remember before seven years, seven or eight years, this was not in Facebook ads. Facebook ad was just boosting their post. So everything was like just advertise without even thinking of these funnels. And now LinkedIn has this funnel, Twitter has this funnel, Facebook has these funnels. Google already had that. <coughs> even Google have this kind of funnel now. Earlier even Google didn't have funnel. So when I'm talking about this funnel, this is really five year thingy. It's that modern a marketing. <coughs> so conversion stage. Now what are the conversion stage? Understand that when you are boosting your posts, that is awareness stage. That boosting post is not meant, the algorithm of Facebook is not designed to bring you leads. That only will increase your likes. And likes in our term is called vanity matrix. It just looks good. It doesn't bring money to you. And many marketers or many businesses waste their money by just running or boosting their posts and they think that, oh, my clients are not coming because they are not running the whole stage. Client will come from this stage, conversion stage. But because they don't understand that this, this is how Facebook is designed. I'm showing you a Facebook screenshot. This is not made by me. So understand that Facebook algorithm is designed in a way to, to push you to run through this. Now, what is the consideration stage? So see the consideration step apps, the app install. If you're, if you have an app business, Facebook already has designed, um, a fa an ad type, which is app installs. See this lead generation. Lead generation is that ad, which I was talking about in which when you click on the ad, automatically a Facebook form fills up. So it is made to fetch email IDs for you. And similarly, conversion catalog sales and see the name is catalog sales. The name is sales because this is the portion where the sales happens. All uh, an experienced marketer knows these kind of ads and he understands <coughs> that it's not that these are all black and white that different. They are all similar, but then little bit, little bit things are different. <coughs> Right? Till now? Okay. Third, the second point was audience setup. Now there are two kinds of audience. As a marketer, my experience is if you are, if you are an old business and your website already has thousands of people visiting you, that is one kind of business. A second kind of business is where you have low traffic. Means you have started just now. Your website is new. You are new in the business. You should choose audience differently. Now, Facebook, I'll tell you what, this is a very important slide. So I'll, I will request your attention. Now, Facebook has, um, you can make new set of audience, your custom set of audiences, or you can use a predefined audiences. Now I'll tell you, so predefined audiences are used 
Let me jump on that on the second slide because it's already there. I'm telling you for the low traffic right now, your website is new. Now, when your website is new, you can, of course, name this audience, location, age, and gender. Pretty much simple, right? But these are the most important parts, demographic, interest, and behavior. After this workshop, go back to your home, ask a link from me, I will send it to you. You will be surprised what is being tracked of yours. Now, I will show you some examples. Demographics, I don't know if you will read or not, but everything cute and cool do you, which you see on Facebook, which you think, wow, it's so cool. You know, it, it, it is made to look cool to you, but it is actually made to give marketers like me information. So when you go to a place and Facebook automatically asks you, hey, I, I think you are in a cozy, cozy cafe. Would you like to tag this cafe? You, you see this on Facebook? Why? Because so that I know exactly where you are. I can target my ads saying that a person who was for the last 48 hours and in this location, I can really target you to that pinpointed location. This is all democracy, demographics. Men, women, that is very clear. Uh, languages is very clear. Relationship status. How, how nicely you put, no? We divorce, complicated, <coughs> or married. This is for me. Because if you are married, I know that you want a gift on Valentine's Day. So my ads will target you. Will poke you to buy gifts. And my language will also be very provocative. Saying that, can you afford to make your wife angry? Something like that. This is how, that's why a few years back Zuckerberg was in the US parliament. And this is why Facebook tracks when, when an ad which says, which is against Muslims and it gets all the comments. This is where your psyche is tracked as a nation. That, oh wow, an anti-Muslim um, ad or an anti-Muslim comment gives so many emotions. Do you see Facebook has added those emotions as well? Like and uh, very like wow and those five emotions do you think it's for you it's for me because i know that what is your reaction here which which kind of language excites you and this is how even the political elections are twisted sorry to say but this is the reality but if you don't understand this you won't be able to control how facebook ad works um again this is also a part of income i, I also know how what kind of income you have you have never mentioned it on Facebook, but I know I can really target which kind of people I have to target, whether I have to target a 10,000 K person or a 30,000 K plus person. Why? Because you put pictures of your cars, right? What, you? Car, your autos. Yeah. You put pictures and Facebook tracks what kind of car you have. Everything is being tracked. Understand this. Apartments, home type. I can really target, target my ad to people who have apartment types. What kind of apartment you are living in? Multi-family home, single uh, square footage, house ownership, first time home buyer. Just read, read these out and these are options in Facebook. This right now you are looking at an infographic, but on a drop down, Facebook gives me these options. The target this ad to a family based how grandparents, new parents, new parents, just imagine. Don't you see it's a powerful tool when I know that you are a new parent. I, I know that you want to buy a, a pram, right? Or maybe a bag of diapers. Imagine the kind of pinpointed targeting. It knows everything. And because now realize whenever you are happy about Facebook that, wow, uh, it asks me to tag and wow, it knows who is my best friend and every, every friendversary, it, it makes an automatic video to show you that this is your best friend. I am, you will see that I can really tag the friend of my best friend. This is... <laughs> Interests. The second category was interest. Huh? So interest was what your what your interests are. Advertising. What kind of videos do you watch more? Aviation, banking. These are. And this is just tip of the iceberg. It's, it's detailed. It's like around 500 options. When I make it make a Facebook ad, I really run through those 500 options to see that who is your target audience. And that's why for this section I always do with my clients because you understand your business. I will ask you questions which even you won't realize. Oh wow. Even this, because you don't realize that how, how, how much Facebook is tracking you. You think, okay, yeah, age, okay, gender. But then when I ask you these kind of questions, you are like, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, this is my client as well. This is my customer as well. When I give you the options. Um, um, what is a Facebook ad? What is a Facebook yeah. ad? 
Is it is it what you see in your timeline? Yeah. It's sponsored. Yeah. That's that's the ad. Yeah. You mean? But but Facebook at many places there are Facebook ads which you don't realize that this is an ad. So a timeline is one placement. Yeah. The right side column is also one placement. Yeah. The stories is also placement. Everything which is Facebook has an ad option. Even marketplace has an ad option. But it is so intermixed mm. that people like normal people like you don't realize that this is an ad. Unless and until you see that small word which says a sponsor. You think that, wow, it just bubbled up because, mm. Mm, because Facebook knows me, that's it. I mean, you think that it's organic, but it's not organic. But you you aim at what what you are talking about is is the you know you can you can make a choice for what what ad. Uh, yeah. So I right now I'm making a choice of my audience, but next you will see that I'm making a choice of the placement as well. So where I want to place my ad? Do I want to place my ad in the stories? Do I want okay. to place my ad in the messenger? Do okay, I want to place my ad? Choice. In the, I get a choice. Yeah. Placement choices. And then you have to realize, like for example, um, if you use apps like um, any app, you will see that in between there are advertisements. They are partnered program with Facebook. So Facebook, when you make an ad, it also shows you, um, do you want to choose pa my partners? Which means partners like, for example, you all must be swiping Tinder. I assume so. No? <laughs> okay. So if you swipe Tinder, you will see ads. Every damn app you use, why people are making apps? Just imagine. Why people are making apps? <coughs> You think they are making social service? No. All the app, all the digital marketing services run on ads. Because they partner with big fishes or big whales like Facebook or Google. Because they partner with you and they flash ad on your website. And then as a business you have to choose that wall. So maybe if you have a dating kind of a service, maybe you would want your app, your ad to be thrown on Tinder. But maybe if you are a business coach, you would not want your ad to be thrown on Tinder because people are in a different mood there. So uncheck those options on Facebook. Facebook gives you that, that option to where to flash the ads. Uh, again, same, uh, we are still running the interest one. What interests you? Movies, friendship, motherhood, dating, marriages. There are so many, like enough options. Behavior. Uh, I will tell you, when I am running my coaching ad, one of my biggest uh, audience or a targeted audience is people who are Facebook page owners. Now imagine who, who is a decision maker for your business. You are the Facebook page owner, right? Do you think uh, you are my right customer or not? My right customer is people who have businesses. So if I have to target entrepreneurs, then you are my right customer. People who have Facebook, people who are owners of the Facebook admin. I target them and I get most of the, my results because I analyze them that which category is throwing me more money or which is getting consumed more, which is fetching me more leads. So I understand when I look at the analysis that which category was more convinced by my services. And then I keep changing every 15 days. And then after two, three times iterations, it, it really becomes effective. Now, if you are a high traffic website right now, we were talking about low traffic, understand? Because we were making our custom audience. Now, if you have a high traffic website, what will you do? You already have customers on your website, not customers. You already have traffic on your website. Now, what, and you already have traffic, you already have customers. Now, Facebook just, I will tell you something which you will be shocked. Facebook gives you an option to me, marketers like <coughs> me, to make a lookalike audience. So, let's say I'm successful right now in, um, let's say, uh, in, in Denbos in marketing, my ad was successful in Denbos, but I don't know whom to target. And I know that well, this ad worked and this really worked in Denbos and these were my customers. Now, Facebook gives me the option to make an ad as for a lookalike audience in Amsterdam. So I will say that Facebook ads show target for this ad target an audience, which is a lookalike of those who bought my product in Denbos. This is the exact sentence I can make. Facebook shoot this ad to an audience in Amsterdam, which is a lookalike of an audience which bought my product in Den Bosch, which means Facebook will automatically match all those things which here people are doing. And if there are also people doing their age, their interests, everything, I don't have to put my brain now. This is one option. Second option, 
if you have email IDs of your customers, I can feed it to Facebook because with that email ID, you are also making your Facebook accounts, right? We are all simple, cute people. We make the same, we use the same email ID for everything. So now Facebook, I feed, let's say 2000, you have 2000 customers. I feed those email IDs to Facebook. Out of those 2000, Facebook will detect around 1500. Says that, okay, yeah, of these 1500, I also know their profile. Now I will make a lookalike audience of this list. So face, I can really target, I will say that, okay, check these profiles of those 1500 and then target the same kind of people in Amsterdam. So they will check the profiles and your likes and dislikes and they will have the highest of probability to run my ad. That's where your Facebook ads get successful. Otherwise you will again... People do you need for... Minimum that? thousand. Okay. So Facebook requires thousand email IDs to really make a handsome list. Yeah. A, a look-alike list. Yeah. Then these were the you know magical figures, but the other ones are people who have seen your videos. Maybe some video you see that people really liked it. You can target those ones. The people who have seen this video for more than three seconds, more than ten seconds, target only to those, to this level. Events, people who participated in your event. That's why people do. Why do you think people do free webinars, in which you? very nicely say interested or going or RSVP because Facebook knows that you have shown, you have actually shown interest in this. And now next time my product will be shown to you, will be shown to you because you show, because I'm running this ad now. Show the ad to people who showed interest in that event because that event was free. So you, and because it was also related to you, for example, right now you are here because it's free. If it was paid, maybe only two of you were there, but I know that in some way, in your mind, you have a need of Facebook ads, right? So if I take your email IDs right now and I give it to Facebook, Facebook will track that what kind of people you are. And then I will say, Facebook, take these people and choose similar kind of people in Amsterdam and show my ad. So whenever you are getting anything for free on internet, or in this modern world, even now, right now, understand that a marketer has a motive. We already knew. You knew? knew that, that would be naive. Yeah. If you, if you don't realize that. Yeah. But on digital way, you really don't realize. Even sometimes I get tricked. Wow, 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 wow. And after that wow, wow <laughs> feeling, I'm like, oh God, for this you wanted my email. And this was the whole loop. I actually, yeah. you're not aware <laughs> of uh, what people do yeah. with your data. Yeah. 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 Example, Donald yes. Trump. That's the result we see of Facebook ads. Donald Trump is nothing but Facebook ads result. Yeah. Huh? We'll take it outside. We'll discuss it outside. <laughs> <laughs> and for, for Donald Trump only, Mark Zuckerberg was in the court. Do you, do you remember that story? Yeah. yeah, what was that? So it was said that how, how Americans, so there's always a war, it is, it is a conspiracy that Donald Trump won because Donald oh, yeah, Trump yeah. is a little ha has a handshake with Russia and the Russian agencies bought Facebook's algorithms and apps yeah. to understand the psyche and then everything is happening. So that's why the political people are very conscious that Facebook should not drive your intentions. Facebook should not bias you to choose your government. It's okay to for you to choose a bad product out of Facebook. It's okay for the governments, but don't choose your bad political party. When you uh, do this with the Facebook ads and you use the email addresses, I think you can only do that when you say in your uh, when you ask the question. Yeah, GDPR tracking, uh, is allowed. Tracking is allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. So thanks to GDPR, then at least people are a little more conscious. Before that, it was absolutely like a wildfire. But even now, even now, tell me how many blogs you read, and the blogs will show you. Um, I will, uh, I, we use cookies. If you don't tick mark them, you can't read the content. And can you survive without content these days? You are looking for a home, home remedy for a disease and then a blog pop-ups and then it, it shows, okay, tick mark, otherwise you can't read. We all do the tick mark, right? Officially, that's illegal. Uh, for the, for the blog yeah. owners. Yeah. Yeah, but they do it. Yeah, you they do can it. deny cookies, you yeah, should yeah. deny cookies. Yeah, very right. So yeah, all the big companies have the option of deny as well. 
yeah. but the middle ones no they just or at least like if you visit my website you can still scroll the website without ticking mark so that's that's what legal is but many yeah. many websites which are purely content based they force you to tick market yes and imagine this is only for europe what about rest of the world 